go um, Galena first and hope to be able to get Mega Control very quickly, set up some totems? Or do you want to go... I know I see Sirius playing Ranger a lot at the beginning of Vale um, to counter that Galena play is what he tends to do. And also, the fact that we get to see Ranger today, this may be one of the last times in a professional environment we get to see some Don't say these things to me. Just, just R.I.P. Don't mate. say it. R.I.P. I still R.I.P. It's not in live all yet. the pieces. It's, it, PTS is not live yet. People are going to hate me, but shub for life. Okay? Shub for life. I think there's going to be a, a small cluster of people that miss it greatly, <laughs> but it's me. not going to be today. <laughs> me, we'll, Dewey. We'll see, how many people, we'll see how many people die to it today. But either way... It's going to be map number one here. Match number one, in fact, here at the Italian Esports Open. Luca CG 2018, Rafa and Garpi, USA versus the UK. Right on. Well, we are on Garpi's point of view at the moment. He is trying to get set up over at the mega side. Rafa quickly moving uh, towards him. He's got the upper position. Garpi will get himself onto the heavy armor. And Garpi is going to eventually have to get away. We have talked about his amazing rockets. That was not one of them. But he'll escape through to Rail Room for the time being. Has that 100-100. Has the three most important weapons. But it looks like Rafa does as well as he lands a nice 90 damage to cement control in the first minute. And that rail was just such a, I think, an assertive rail to say that he, he clearly had that position held for a long time. And simply oh! Garpy to appear, but unfortunately Rafa wow. buying off a little bit more than he can chew. Garpy getting those patented rockets two in a row. And that's going to be enough to take him out. That was a nutty shot over there. Garpy's got to be careful going through the teleporter. He's seen exactly where Rafa's gone, but he's respecting the orb. Tries to react and to that dodge from Rafa. Again, brilliant rockets from Garpy. I just made fun of them, but he is going <laughs> ham with that weapon at the moment. It was Garpy finally got his inflatable rocket launcher in France, so it's now given him the power. I've got one for that. I've got that. I have two. Again, the rockets. Does about 85 damage. Lands a big rail. LG. Orb's going to miss, and he takes him down before the heavies uh, taken from Rafa. There's the rocket jump up. He's going to try and get control of the upper level. Sees Keel down at the bottom. Now he takes both major items. Got to watch out for these grenades. The LG stinging, and Rafa is going to make a small comeback in round one. Yeah, Garpy got caught in a really sort of strange position there. He was so determined that Rafa was going to come out of a teleporter at that exact time that by the time he turned his attention away, Rafa had appeared and took it by surprise. So much uncontested damage. He's going in for Ranger now. I definitely agree with him. These pineapples, they hurt so good. Does not teleport to the die roll, but that could have been a crazy fight right there. Oh. Tries to get the heavy, and it's not going to be enough there, Zoo. Really, really nice rail work from Rafa. There's going to be a Keel versus Keel fight. The thing is, Garpy's just got himself a lot of control. He's going to get rockets now. Oh, Garpy, I'd half think about just pushing in. Finish the job. Very little dodge. Doesn't commit to the angle to get hit by the rail. Rafa, though, is starting to heal up. Approximately 100-100. Heavy will be up soon. I really fear for Garpy if he doesn't try to finish the job in the next 20 seconds, because then Rafa's going to be more than ready to fight. For sure. And that one time, Garpy, I think, was trying to spring that trap near the doorway. <coughs> Rafa not taking the bait, going left instead of right, and it's actually going to allow him to pick up all the armor he needs to be pretty much restacked completely. Garpy has the control, te like, technically, but with how amazing those grenades have been for Rafa so far, even if you have more of a stack against Kiel, that's still 75 damage per grenade. And that's what Rafa does. He fires a rocket and a grenade at exactly the same time. They pretty much hit simultaneously. That can really melt your health away. Minimal damage taken on the heavy there, trying to fight for it again. So Garpy lives to fight another day, still in great form. But Rafa doesn't seem too phased right now. Yeah, a good move away from Rafa. I'm glad he didn't commit to the mega health. He was starting to get lower health and armor. Great try ball. Too. That's almost equalizing the stacks between them. Garpy's going to go through a teleporter. We could have a fight over here. There's the heavy machine gun spot for Rafa, but he edges towards heavy, and this could give him an advantageous position for that major item. Garpy up through the top, has found the Rafa, can push down and drop, takes a bit more damage, and he might lose the race now towards Mega Health. There is something about the way Garpy is able to take this heavy consistency where he's just not getting punished. Like Rafa's making the call to try and zone him out, oh. but there comes one pineapple, needs a little bit more. Rafa, not much armor, but plenty of health. Garpy definitely a little bit more worse for wear here. Ignore the one minute warning, we're down to our final champion anyway, so it's going to be a one death for a round situation. Here we go. Wow, really, really close damage. A rail from Garpy could finish it off. He's going to get heavy. I think he's going to get full control now. Five seconds until Omega Health. Rafa, he can't challenge for this. He's surely going to go down here. There's the lightning gun. Still a second to go. He does get the Mega, but there's the grenade. Combined with the shaft. Gives round one to the Brit.
that was definitely a hard fought round too. You know, even off the back of those lightning fast first two frags Garpy was able to seize, but that's what we talked about. Rafa and Kiel seem to go hand in hand on certain maps. Uh, it's just his general positioning on those grenades. Like, whenever he shoots a grenade, there's such a rare chance that one of them's going to miss. Even if it's a little bit of damage that forces Garpy to a position he doesn't want to be in. And the fight for the rocket is going to be in Rafa's favor this time. Oh, the spawn! What a spawn! Oh, See you later, Garpy. 17 seconds, two kills. How many seconds until he can find that kill and finish the round? He's going to find a right oh, away over no. rockets. Two rockets are landing. Not like for this. the LG. Is it a 30 second round? Not quite. Guppy slips away. Never mind, though. It's going to be 32. <laughs> the second he went through the teleport, he was on borrowed time. That was a guarantee. <laughs> and, uh, okay. D don't win round two soon. It's done. I've told you this before, okay? QuakeCon, like. This is not going to be a repeat, okay? I'm going to crush you. The, th the thing is, that was almost set in stone the second he got that. The second Rafa won the fight for the Rocket at the very beginning, like, that was a real sort of game of tug of war, I think. You know, I think both players were prepared to lose the round off that one Rocket not going in their favor. And Rafa, staying confident to make those kind of decisions. If you're one round down, Diving in for a rocket when you know they're going to spawn near is a pretty risky play to make. I, I love what Rafa did as well on the second kill. He knew that spawn was a possibility. He didn't overcommit to it where the orb could come out. He just played it spot on. Either way, try ball on both of the players and they're looking for some rockets. Garpy, I mean, there's a lot of dodging having to go on. There's a commitment for the LG. Oh my god! What a rocket from Rafa. My life Good God. It really is bad how quickly those defensive rockets will turn around. Garpy again just really trying to rush on spawn. Must have been so confident Rafa was weak. But with him missing the orb. And he's missing the pineapples as well. Three in a row not hitting their target. Rafa has no reason to be defensive now as well. He's in such an amazing spot. Garpy in serious trouble. I'm loving Rafa's play off the spawns again and again. He's, he's definitely shown he's the master of this map. He's going to continue getting that control. There's plenty of time for the Mega Health for him to secure that. I think he, he could get the item now, or he can try and go for the kill. He gets one rail, one more for the frag. And he, I think he wants to go for it. Yeah, there's there's such, a, such a high chance he's going to secure this one. Oh, there's a little fake jump. Ooh, yeah, the fake out. I like it. Unfortunately for Rafa, it didn't seem to work for him. Rail will get taken. This light should spawn in a second, I think. Unless he took it already in. Lost that HP. Garpy definitely uh -oh. appears starved. And he's actually so weak that trying to take the heavy is a big risk. You know, with Rafa's stack that Garpy knows Rafa's going to be sitting on. Yeah, oh. he, I definitely saw him, I think. We want to prioritize heavy in that situation. If he can beat him to Mega as well and keep him behind, it's going to make life very, very difficult for poor old Garpy. You just can't really seem to find his footing in these previous two rounds. He's done a really good job of getting rid of that Talism up at the top. Problem is, with his stack. Hopefully, for him, he's got all the weapons he needs. Oh. Adding some damage. Uh, this isn't death, terrible from Garpy. I just hope for Rafa's sake grant you that he doesn't privilege. lose out on the next kill, considering how much control he had off the first two frags. Yeah, he's about to spawn again. Garpy trying to be super confident here, but unfortunately he's going to trade it out. A little bit of LG and a heavy at the cost of one rail, which means Rafa can maintain this control if he keeps on these rail angles, which he is managing to do. Caught in a little bit of a difficult place with the wrong weapon now. Not punished too heavily though, Garpy still gets caught by the LG, and that jump sealed his fate pretty much. Yeah, nicely done from Rafa, eventually shutting that one down. I think Garpy maybe could have even carried on playing it slow, like he was given the chance. There was no full commitment from Rafa at the end when he did that fake jump uh, in the rail room. I feel like he didn't have to commit down there, maybe could have gone back over to where we've got another light armor and stacked up again, but it felt like Garpy wanted to force some aggression. And again, we're getting aggression right off the beginning. We've got a totem down oh. from Garpy, but he's only got 50 HP, a light armor, but Not cannot so survive the shotgun blast. So that is three first frags in a row. Every, well, everything since round one has gone Rafa's way. You'd be so used to seeing the, the person with the rocket fresh off spawn to be the one with the advantage, but if you have the accuracy of that super shotgun, which we know Rafa does, it can really sort of go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You know, one's instant and one's not, and it's a combination there. Garpy cannot even take the heavy. This has just gone from bad to worse. Yeah, what happened? Man? What happened? It was such a great round one from Garpy, especially the start he had on this map. It has just gone down the loo. He's on 25 points out. The machine gun's going to be enough. And well, that was an easy map in the end for Rafa, despite 
what was going on in the first round. Which is kind of strange, really. Um, well, I say it's strange. And when you see a start as amazing as what Garpy had, he was able to kind of secure those first two frags in round one pretty effortlessly through some really amazing defensive rockets. But I found like, again, in those fights, Rafa, simply put, just stopped putting himself in the position where those defensive rockets can come through. And was for, like, I don't want to say he underestimated in the first round the fact that Garpy might have been able to hit some of those angles. Mm. But in the rounds after that, he just stopped putting himself in that position. It's, it felt like he was just going heads up versus him no matter what. Sometimes sometimes just don't be aggressive. You feel disadvantaged by a situation. You know, maybe he had rockets at the beginning. Sometimes it felt like he could get it going a little bit. His rockets were great in the first round, but there was nothing really in the tank for Garpy. Thing is, that was Rafa's pick. He doesn't have to worry too much now that he's going over to Corrupted to keep the map that he chose. I suspect we're going to see a very different game from Garpy. Um, I'm wondering, though, if we're going to get different champions from the players. I think maybe only Ranger is the champion that could be switched to a BJ. Or maybe if someone wants to go crazy for Strognik, some kind of off pick like that. Uh, but otherwise, I suspect that Kiel and Galena are going to be sturdy. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Players can prove me wrong. I think especially after the performance that we just saw there too. Uh, I want to say particularly from Rafa's Kiel. Uh, he had some... He has this this really amazing way of utilizing the pineapples with Q, uh, particularly it's not nice. even not even to land not even to land damage, but to put you in a position where you you feel like you're taking damage no matter what, or you're forced to move into a position you don't want to be in because you don't want to get hit by a grenade on the floor. So like th there's so many layers to Kiel's grenades in those short range maps that they're just so irritating to face off against. And in the hands of someone like Rafa, who is, he has, he's one of the smartest players in the world, mm -hmm. without a shadow of a doubt, give him a grenade launcher and he's going to laugh with it. Yeah, completely. I know Galena was second to none as well just then. I, d I just loved everything. The way, the way he his plays off the spawn actually are what I like the most. He got some disgusting spawns. Y yeah. It was so good. And, and the fact is he got not always clean frags, but clean enough that you can go against a, a mid-sized champion and you can immediately start pressuring. We are getting into champion bands over here for map two. We there are it is. BJs. Okay, I wonder, is it going to be Ranger or are we going to get Kiel? Death Knight! All right, fascinating. Death Knight did get a nerf since the PGL patch. So it's harder to hit those uh, that flame strike, but uh, you can still do a lot of damage. If you're accurate with it, it's still devastating. Um, and was that Ranger right at the end, I think? It was, was yes. No keel whatsoever this time. Yeah, now um, he, he's always mentioned it also depends on like champions and map picks uh, with Corrupted Keep. Sometimes you will occasionally see him go keel as well, but it depends on what the opponent's picking. Well, um, um, I do wonder if the Death Knight had somewhat of a bearing there. Um, or to be, to be fair, like, Ranger's almost never a bad pick in Duel these days. Um, so if you're in a position where you can land that combo together, uh, we've already seen some superb rockets as well. The Death Knight is the interesting one, I think. Um, he definitely, I don't want to say he's fallen out of favor at all, but not the champion he used to be. Uh, on true. launch, I'm pretty sure anyone that played Death Knight on launch knows how dangerous he was, but Rafa okay. fresh off the spawn. BJ with an LG is the best spawn he can ask for in this map, I think. And he just went for it. Garpy, again, not expecting the aggression, but Garpy's going straight back in. He's not afraid. He's like, all right, you haven't got that deal with. He's trying to hit some shotgun. He's doing good pressure. Garpy's immensely low himself. He's going to go back over to those 225s by the heavy machine gun. Light armor was taken a while ago. It might respawn soon. But he's got the mega health now. Dual will just popped. Oh, that could be catastrophic for Rafa, providing Garpy heard that it was used, which I, I suspect, yes. Yeah, I feel like he was close enough to at least hear a little bit, and we know Garpy is a sort of a very actually a very sound heavy player. Um, but that said, that initial dual wheel being popped, forcing him into this room, it's not okay. going to be the end of the world because you know, at the end of the day, BJ getting that natural passive and regenerating to his next 25 health, he gets 50, and if he's just short of it afterwards, he'll, he'll go full up, you know, straight up to full anyway. And now Garpy, not in an amazing position. Rafa taking some damage on that machine gun spam from distance, which is going to at least force him away, but he knows he has a heavy to retreat to, so he's not going to be too worried! And oh my god, that was a head-on oh. collision! A little bit slow on the uptake there. That was a good double uh, double back by Garpy because it actually looked like he was going to lose that fight in the end even though he had dual wield and I think Rafa's, he maybe took some hourglasses and it barely came up. But I, honestly, I thought this was going to be a whitewash and that Garpy was going to get crushed in this. He's got nine health left. He needs that passive to help him out. He gets around the corner. One more cell. He can't Ooh. survive. I think the health hadn't even quite spawned yet. So Rafa is going to be able to take round one. Uh, Garpy, to me, still... Since round one of Vale, he, I, I'm deflated by his performance right now. I just think he's 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 struggled to get back on the horse, hasn't he? Yeah. He had such an amazing start, but since Rafa has just been all momentum, has been pretty tricky. Now he's starting off with the death. Now is he going to get an opportunity to? 
Oh, wow. There yeah. it is. Flame strike damage over time. Burst the shotgun. A little bit of LG. We got started. Rafa kind of ran into that. He was right in the choke point. Now, you're never going to get any easier flame strike angle than that if you're a death knight. So, Sharpie already taking advantage. It's crazy how they're happy to fight within the first five seconds of the game. The guy's going to back off, only hitting little bits of splash. Oh my god, that's a good rocket. He's on three points of health. Rafa's oh, dog. The Mega as well is going to make it so much harder. And the Lovely. combination of the orb. Lovely. Wonderful play there from Rafa. I think it's so good that Ranger, one of the only champions in the game that really does have that luxury, being able to take multiple pickups at once, and he's dead. Guaranteed. That wonderful play beforehand put Rafa so stacked, there was no way Garpy was surviving that. Yeah, I, I love that he usually able to get absolute full control. And Garpy would say it's on borrowed time at that stage. However, we have got BJ now for Garpy. I still, I think he's looking definitely stronger in this round, given that he's had the first frag. He's probably feeling a little bit more confident. But as long as he's blocked away from this lightning gun, it's going to be hard for him to really feel 100% unless he can go into that dual wheel shotgun or super close range without receiving any initial damage. And that's going to be Rafa's entire game plan now, I, I think. Just just keep Garpy away from the magic weapon that he needs. And if you're going to try and even give him an illusion that he can take, as you can see, no, Garpy, he's trying so hard to work his way in. He really wants that LG. And it makes sense because, you know, BJ's dual wield, they, they really are, you know, two peas in a pod. But I feel like Garpy maybe could have done a bit more damage on that one. He's going to have to relinquish control of the heavy armor. Garpy's kind of just... Oh, sorry, the other way around. That was an interesting play from Garpy. I, th I think Rafa knew he was going to try and get some machine gun damage mm. as Garpy ran out, but it was quickly in, out, no messing around. And now, not really in a bad position, especially after a rocket like that. Good God. Really nice rocket. Garpy could go for the full control now. He should have a, an understanding of the timings. Got to watch out for the orb, though. He's taken a nasty rocket, too. He's trying to get away. There could be a chase of the orb. It looks like there was. And Rafa's going to shut down another frag. It, it was that opening rocket and the fact that Garpy then hung around a little bit too long. I mean, he really had, it to, do had to dodge that one. Yeah, normally getting hit by damage as severe as that, you almost feel like that's always a terrible position for whoever took it. But if it at least gave Rafa a read on Garpy that he's going to take this damage and maybe try and fight for a pickup with it, I'm still confident in my own stack to take the fight. I have a Dire Orb. Let's go. And he won the 1v1 easily. And now it's going to be match point for Rafa. This has been a fast, fast turnaround, Zoot. Yeah, it, it, it's going a lot quicker than I expected. I really thought that Garpy wasn't going to be quite as aggressive. He's, he's clearly trying to show that he's not afraid to fight, but he's just getting the wrong end of the stick a l way too much. However, beginning of this, he's got Galena, he's got Mega Helm and the Heavy Armor. He's going versus the Dual Wheel, but he's recommitting <laughs> Nail Gun to Super Shock, and that's a fantastic combination from him. However, we need to see him continue to stick it. And he's got a good spawn too. But he's going to use that as an opportunity to try and sort of re-back up. No! Oh, oh my God. God. Imagine if that would have been just a galactic telebrag. <laughs> Not today, but Garpy. A wonderful spawn near the Mega. He's going to be rewarded with the Mega Health, actually, in fact, as it spawns here. But we have seen Rafa make some pretty you know, mind-blowing comebacks in the past. So Garpy can't really take his foot off the gas here. He needs to go ultimate respect, but not give up too much of the map. He needs to clean around, though. I think if he wants a chance to he needs to get the round right now. Going with the LG, he's going to take him down in the end. Within a minute, Garpy is going to get a round on the board for the second time in this series. Um, can he do it again, though? He needs to go. He needs to push a step further than he did on Bale. This is his map pick. I'd expect him to at least take another, even if uh, Rafa does go for that 2-0 ultimately on map picks. Right off the spawn, both of them were staring down at Mega Health, but eventually Garpy is going to escape, have rockets, uh, have himself the heavy armor. I think at the very least, the fact that Garpy's finally been able to pick up a round being so significantly down. You know, they, they were consecutive rounds that he was losing across both of these maps. So getting back on just a little bit is going to be better than nothing, but one small victory of many if he wants to win this series. He's got to take this map first. This was his map pick. And Rafa making it look pretty easy right now, I have to say. Well, Garpy's managed to avoid any early aggression. It's those tactics that Rafa was using right at the beginning. He was like, right, I'm going to see if he's not expecting this. And we saw that lightning gun rush with BJ right at the beginning of the map, and Garpy was totally caught off guard, maybe expecting a slower playstyle. Now Rafa has actually deliberately slowed it down as well. I wonder if that could play into Garpy's hands a little bit, because usually a Galen is going to prefer a slow gameplay. Well, slow is not really in BJ's repertoire, unfortunately, as he pops the dual wield, goes in, all guns oh. blazing! Almost gets ring out, but doesn't matter. 
He's going to get that first frag again. Garpy forced onto his death knight. Unfortunately, as this mega spawns and Rafa looks chunky, he's going to have to play the runaway game for a little bit. Six hourglasses taken by Rafa. His dual will is pretty much back up right now. He's low on ammunition. The nail gun is so powerful on land. Garpy wants to challenge through the flame strike lands. Can he get himself to some help in time? There's a bubble on the floor, and Gar uh, Rafa is going to survive. Garpy needs to rush. He needs to find him straight away. There's a shotgun blast. We can hear the screams of BJ. The absolute agony. I'll miss you so much, but <laughs> either way, we'll talk about that later. There's the mega selected. And Rafa's recovery. We're so close to actually being taken out because of the taking damage of the flame strike, but with five health left, he was able to get at least one of the bubbles. Garpy still with a way bigger stack. And I think that's why he's pressing the advantage here, but Rafa's positioning. Absolutely beautiful, but it's not enough. Well Does survive Garpy. a little bit, but at the very least, you know, he got at least one rocket off. Yeah. So Rafa now knows he can spawn and then maybe try and do some damage. Five seconds before the mega health. Sorry, mega health, heavy armor. Two I'm seconds to mega. Watch. There we go. <laughs> Almost there. Uh, I was almost expecting the Ranger to come back to see if Rafa could maybe go for a quick spawn frag. No, I thought we'd see that too, but I think he wants to just try and keep playing it slow. If yeah. he's got this advantage, just, Rafa's always one of those players that can really play it cool when need be. Going in Ranger and trying to go an early kill, there's a risk there, I suppose, if it goes skew if and you lose a second champion. Definitely. Oh, he's going to find him. First rocket misses. Ooh. That's a brilliant direct from Guppy. He hits Ooh. a little bit more splash on this side. Gotta watch out for a totem that's down by that. Oh, he goes in for the dual wheel, but he's low on ammunition. He just takes the ammo, leaves. Is he gonna see the totem and the teleporter behind? Oh, it doesn't matter. There's a drop from Rafa. The totem, has it been killed off yet? I believe so. That was some beautiful damage from Garpy. But oh, God! Okay. Okay, he went up nice and vertical, <laughs> so he's gonna stay out of its range, but still there. So if he's gonna run away in the future, that's actually a risk he's gonna have to take, I think. Oh, just caught sight of him. Yeah, doesn't want to take one too many hourglasses to put himself in harm's way. He still has the uh, the luxury of the LG room at this point. Please get rid of that token soon. Oh, you know, Garpy, oh. he's trying to play, I think, super defensive until he gets that dual wield. He does not want to push without it. Yeah, I think that's smart, actually. That's a good point. And now he has it ready. Locked and loaded. Well, oh, no. armor is not spawning for a moment down over here. He really needs a bit more stack. The thing is, if that dual wield sound goes off, Raph has got to respect immediately. And these are some very good defensive rockets from Garpy. He's actually tied up the stacks with this, and I think he's going to claim the heavy armor control. With a minute and 15 seconds to go, he can go for a rotation or two more before he's forced to do something to at least equalize the champion score. He's there it is. pushing hard, but he's taking a lot of damage, unfortunately. The totem, I think, is going to give Rafa enough health, but he uses wow. the totem now. Rock in a hard place. Garpy doesn't really want to fight himself. The funny thing is, is if he got rid of that totem, he would. Oh! Oh! Where did that come from? What a shot. The totems are going to disappear anyway. Never mind what I was saying before. Heavy's going to be up next. He's got to watch out for the shove. It's there. There's a good rocket. Oh! 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 <laughs> On the teleporter exit, we're going to get the rounds tied up, and Garpy's still in this best of three. That was one of the best rockets I think I've ever... That was my favorite rockets because we got to see it from Rafa's perspective. <laughs> we got to just see you, you're, you're there and then you're you, not. You, you <laughs> blink and you're dead. But that, that's, that's why Garpy has out of this world rocket you know, he, he, he has so much experience, he knows oh. where the opponent's going to be. So he just lands at prediction and if he appears, bam, max damage. Really nice rockets actually from Rafa off the beginning of this round. If, if that last direct didn't hit, Garpy would probably still be feeling okay at the moment, but right now he's vulnerable to a rush. The dual wheel lightning gun's a huge threat. He wants to stay around a corner where he can defend with the rockets a bit and try to extend his life in any fight like that. And the Ooh. rocket is almost an absolute reverse of what we saw a moment ago. I think I've, I've seen this one before. This is rerun. <laughs> can we check the tapes? And he's got heavy in three seconds' time. Rafa's actually not pushing it too far, so Garpy's been given a little bit of breathing room. And he's, he's in this, this round now from without any champions being eliminated at all. Rafa's still in a wonderful position in terms of stack and just, you know, ammunition. He's got pretty much every weapon he needs as he pops the dual wield. Really good defensive rocket from Garpy, both for damage and the fact that it knocked Rafa so high up in the air that it pretty much wasted the, the dual wield. He can't get it back. Uh, but he still has the stack advantage. And that's the danger. One well-placed rocket, though, to undo an entire ability. I'm sure Garpy's going to take that trade. This is still danger territory for Garpy. If he loses this yeah. round, he is in the loser's bracket. And Rafa will move on.
Panthers be consistently letting him get onto that. Oh, just found each other. Rock on the sideline, trying to defend a bit. It's a good position for Garpy to hold there. But he goes forward underneath. This was a bit more of a suicidal move. A drop down. Mid air is going to miss. And Rafa, I feel like, was gifted that one on the plate. It's crazy how one error of judgment can cost so much. That one time Garpy doubled back was exactly what Rafa wanted. Unfortunately, Garpy taking the bait, punished severely for it. But he knows that he knows now that Garpy has spawned way too far away to have a dual wheel for an LG. So it's going to be oh, one versus one, both three. on no health. But Rafa had the right weapons for the job. He did. It wasn't a bad initiation to the fight from Garpy, but it's Rafa executing. He's clutching it out, and now he's a frag away from taking the first series, moving over to the winner bracket final of this group. This is a very tall order for Garpy taking out the PGL champ. Three champions in a row and a 100 damage outright. Garpy forced into a pretty difficult position as well. Rafa maintaining his stack lead all the time because of these rockets he's landing. Oh dear. Wow, deleted. What can we say about that catch up? That is going to be Rafa taking down the map, taking down the series. He's going to be pushing Garpy into the lower bracket of this GSL group, and he will go on to face the winner of Wenger versus Ron. It, it was a bit of anticlimactic last fight, though. Garpy just got destroyed. He Eventually just kind of appeared. And that fight. He just kind of appeared yeah. and pulled out two weapons and uh, deleted him for existence. But to be honest, you know, we, we, we got to say, I, I feel like Garpy, I don't want to say he expected that loss. Whoosh, the transition. <laughs> I am me now, Sorry, guys. Um, but I don't want to say that. I don't want to <laughs> say that Garpy uh, expected that result. Yeah. But I, I feel like you can kind of you could see it in his demeanor after being defeated. It wasn't like a, mm -hmm. a bitter disappointment. It wasn't like you know really sour defeat. It was smiles all around. GG's man, you outplayed me, right? It's, Garpy's yeah. always been a very sort of happy-go-lucky player with these kind of tournaments. I think that, that a big part of that just comes with his legacy in Arena FPS. Um, and Rafa, he is he is the man to watch. Uh, he is the player a lot of us, you know, myself included, expecting to win this tournament. Definitely, definitely. Am I here? Uh, uh, you are for me. All right, that's good. I Sorry. Uh, I assume the people could hear you. Good. We can all hear. I can't hear me, but we're all good. We, I can hear I, you. I think we're okay. I honestly thought after that fourth round that